The article discusses the tradition of erecting commemorative stones, known as heroic stones, or viragalu, in Canada, in Canada, in India, to honor individuals who died in battle. These stones, dating from the 4th century BC to the 13th century ad, depict the hero in battle being raised to heaven by Apsaras, heavenly nymphs, and in the heavenly abode. The stones often have inscriptions detailing the heroic acts of the deceased. Heroic stones typically have three panels, the lower one depicting the hero in battle, the central one showing the hero being raised to heaven by Apsaras and Gandharvas, and the upper one portraying the hero in the heavenly abode, either in Indraloka or Shivaloka. Some stones show the hero riding a Vimana, a flying vehicle, as a reward for their extraordinary courage. The article explores the roles of Apsaras and Gandharvas as psychopumps, guiding the souls of the deceased to the afterlife. In various cultures, psychopumps are beings responsible for escorting souls from Earth to the afterlife. Apsaras and Gandharvas in Indian belief system are compared to Valkyries, Hermes, and Diana in other mythologies. The Dandarvas are described as supernatural beings with expertise in music, serving as messengers between dimensions, while Apsaras are their consorts, known for their captivating beauty and dancing skills. The article suggests that these beings, along with their counterparts in European folklore like goblins and fairies, share common characteristics. The correlation between psychopomps in different religions and fairies is discussed, highlighting how beings like Valkyries and Hermes may be considered fairies. The article proposes that angels in Christianity are the equivalent of fairies and psychopomps, serving as intermediaries between humans and God. The exploration extends to near-death experiences and days where mentions of angelic beings or light beings are found. The article references Dr. Craig R. Lindahl's research on angels in Andes, indicating that some individuals report encounters with guardian angels who guide them through the afterlife. The ancient belief in psychopomps and spirit guides is considered to be corroborated by Endy accounts, suggesting that these beliefs are based on real events that occur after death. The article concludes by raising the question of whether supernatural beings with magical abilities, once seen in physical form, now serve as spirit guides and psychopomps, coexisting with humans on Earth.